What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to be reviewing Transients. Well, technically we'll be reviewing the demo for Transients. However, um, I really wanted to put this one out there because I'm kind of iffy on this one. So I saw Big Fry put out his video about the about the game itself and he discussed it openly, publicly. Which I thought was absolutely awesome. You know, there's not enough developers out there that do that these days. So I wanted to play it and then kind of review, kind of review it myself. Um, I will say I think uh, the game has some potential, um, which is good. Um, however, there are some things that need to be fixed. Right here, you can kind of see that the recording of the video itself is quite janky. That is because this game is an absolute resource hog. Um, and I will put that up on the screen here. Um, this game was, I turned everything down to low. I turned all the settings down as low as I could possibly get them. And it maintained a 92-ish, 92, 93-ish percent um, uh, GPU, GPU usage. And I have a 2070 Super. Um, so I think I have a pretty decent graphics card for what it is. Um, and it still was just an absolute resource hog. So at times during this recording, you're going to see some janky footage. The game itself is smooth. However, because it just hogged everything my graphics card had to offer, no matter how I tried to record this game, I just could not get any kind of decent gameplay. Hey, if someone wants to go buy me an RTX 4090, I will give you a PO box. <laughs> but until then this is what we got so i feel like the game i don't know it, it's just the gunplay is kind of unique and interesting um it's cool how all the attachments can be swapped in and out on the fly i don't know if it will remain that way for the actual like story campaign mode itself um i think it's a pretty neat feature Lord knows I, I can't stand messing with attachments in games. Um, looking at you, Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> Far too complicated, as much as I love the game. Just way too much to it. Um, yeah, right here. Here's a perfect you know example of how it's kind of janky. A little bit here and there. Now, no matter how I try to record this, I just could not get some smooth recording. Unfortunately, my graphics card just doesn't do it it does there's not enough left over from the game itself and this is the only game i've ever seen this do it with um game demo you name it i've never seen a game sit and hog 92 percent on a rtx 2070 super i have it um anyway so i kind of just wanted to go over some of the points in the game i think one of the issues that I really have with the game is as you're walking around, it doesn't really feel like you're walking. It feels at times almost as if you're sliding. And you can see right here the walls. Um, they almost... Yeah, I'm not the best shot in the world. Whatever. I get it. I got it. But I feel there are some walls that maybe have an invisible edge that stick out. Although it could also be because the sights on the guns are not aligned yet. Um, if you have an optic on a weapon, the optic is off. Like it is off. Um, it is still trying to maintain the sight of the irons themselves. So the optic is just an aesthetic. It does you absolutely no good. So when your optic is on the weapon right now during the demo, um, the optic that you have on your weapon is completely off. Uh, it doesn't do any good. So if you do decide to download the demo and play it, make sure you just stick to iron sights. The optics will do you no good. They will do you harm. One of the other things that kind of bug me is I feel like after you reload, there's a hesitation to be able to fire. Um, I have a couple clips in here. They're kind of mixed in of that actually happening. Um, I'll reload and then just sit there like an idiot trying to shoot, but nothing shooting. Um, this right here is kind of cool. The ability to drag and move bodies out of the line of sight of other enemies. But, um, 
you know, I, I I think the AI needs a lot of work as well. I know I'm kind of just jumping here, there, and everywhere, but welcome to my mind. ADHD? I don't know. I, anyway. Um, you know, I feel like the enemies, once they spot you, the AI always knows where you are. There are some clips I've gotten here where, you know, they're lighting up the wall <laughs> where I'm standing. They can't shoot through the wall. Thank God. <laughs> but they know where you're at at all times. Again, it's just a demo. I'm sure, you know, the game is slated for release sometime, you know, late 2024, maybe early 25. Um, they would give them plenty of time to work this all out and, and kind of make it, uh, make it really good. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited. I really wish I knew, you know, more about the story, the campaign, um, you know, those kind of things. This is pretty cool, but it's just, you know, the demo here is like playing any other Unreal Engine game where you just kind of slap down some assets and run through and shoot at stuff. Um... I don't know. It, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot about the game itself, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just have to give it some time and see. If you haven't seen the trailer for it yet, I'd advise to go watch that. The trailer actually makes it look somewhat interesting. Um, like it could be there. My biggest, I think my biggest issue though, or shot. Shotguns at the right range with the right load will physically remove a chunk of shit off your opponent and throw that shit on the floor. Unfortunately, those shotguns in this game don't do that. Actually, now that I think about it, shotguns in no games do that, which is such a missed opportunity from so many game developers. I mean, have you never gone out and <laughs> fired a 12 gauge before? Have you never shot something with a slug? I mean, go shoot a tree. I don't know. Anyway, this game, I, I don't know. I'm excited to see what they, where they stand in a year. Um, it could be good. I think the price point's going to determine the the value of the game itself. But anyway, just wanted to throw this out there. Y'all have a good one. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.